You're listening to Israel's number one podcast. Podcast to the novelist. Crap monster. <laughs> um, hey. Shut Sorry. the fuck up. We dude. already started. No, he's pl- he's <laughs> playing God. with Dom's yarn oh, ball. Oh no, he's playing oh, with the cat. God. Is playing with a yarn ball. How dare he can do this? <laughs> uh, That's we're, what cats uh, we're, do. We have we have uh, Felix Biederman of the Chocolate Trap House here. Yeah, how's it Woo! going, buddy? Mm. You pumped? Yeah, no, I am. I was excited to do this. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. I like I was in the process of losing a Counter Strike game that went too long. Uh, I was, it was supposed to be at six, but. Uh, pot about list uh, very very graciously hung out for half an hour for me. Yeah, so, of yeah. course. I, I'm I'm glad that we are not important enough to uh, jump out of one of the 500 Counter Strike <laughs> yeah. games that you play every day. <laughs> to come <laughs> and, 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 play and don't and don't improve at all. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. get any yeah, better. Just at losing it. over and over and <laughs> yeah. over again. I'm glad that we didn't reach that. Literally threshold. anything. Uh, what well, would no, make I, you I, stop playing? <laughs> I don't like. I think if like. I think if, like, I dated a hot woman who, like, kind of hated me, and she, oh. like, did one of those things where you break up for a week, and then, like, you reconcile, and then she's like, you have to stop playing Counter-Strike, and be like, okay. But then we just, like, do a mutual activity that made us both resent each other, and then mm-hmm. we would just stop talking to each other. Like, one of those breakups where you just don't talk to each other anymore. So but, this but woman is what it would take. That's it? That's it? That's, that's the entire scenario. <laughs> the Not... Thing. Not all the fucking, like, the hacks that just happened. <laughs> yeah, not the yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, the stuff yeah. where they can I don't, give a, I, don't, info. I don't fucking give a shit. Buy something with my, stu- my fucking <laughs> stupid debit card. You think I fucking care? That's just another phone call I have to make. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, buy, buy, so, buy a fucking $500 knife skin with my debit card. I literally don't yeah. fucking give a shit. I do fucking do it. Who cares? Uh, no one's having sex. No one's fucking doing anything anymore. No one's gonna, ever gonna get pussy again. We're gonna run out of kids. Fucking buy your stupid knife, you dumb piece of shit. Do it. I guess I you're care. right. Money. Read, does... my, read my DMs. There's nothing good in there. <laughs> you know what my DMs are? It's just a bunch of people being like, "Oh, have you heard of this? It's Rick Roll." Like, I don't give a shit. you're not gonna get me in trouble. You can't cancel me. Uh, it's right. just gonna be me in different group DMs. Uh, Talking about how, like, you know, anyone who hates me on Twitter, I want, I think they're hot. I want to fuck them. <laughs> Go ahead. You're going to find the secret fascist, uh, crypto yeah. fascist DM. Yeah, find, yeah, look at me in Ape Chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't yeah, give a shit. Ape, Ape Chat is the crypto fascist leftist DM. Yeah. That's where we go. Yeah. It's the most fascist DM oh, dude, ever. Because of the dude. apes, yeah. Y'all, y'all, did you know that the Nazis love nature because they thought it would represent an order? And these <laughs> MFs have Ape Chat, but y'all sleep though. Yeah. The ape so, represents yeah. raw power. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And nothing Hitler else. Love apes. Yeah. Ch- uh, Felix is is right now at the Chapo headquarters, which is a big building with Will Miniker's face on the front, and yeah. it says C C C C <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. It is. If there's anything we do, it's. Well, I like that thread because it was saying that we're not r- really fascist, but we just want people to be fascist, which is <laughs> that's cool. That's the yeah. ultimate yeah. activist cool. move. Yeah. yeah. That's like being in the opposite of Oscar Schindler. <laughs> <laughs> shepherding people into fascism, even though you yeah. yourself are not one. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, the way, that's how you stay the, the prominent voice of the left. You make sure there's no one else on the left. You get everyone right. else over the right. That's, that's true. the trick. Yeah, you, you take down such leftists as Michael Rappaport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? On a daily yeah, basis. Yeah, the, the most important socialist voice you, <laughs> you gotta, have. You got to put him in his place. You know uh-huh. what I mean? I love Michael Ra- I love Michael Rappaport because, like, his main thing is he's, like, one of those old comedian com- he's not really a comedian but like one of those old guys who's like yo yo why are y'all getting offended by anything but he, he sees <laughs> any post by a young person like even referencing like columbine like today right, right? yeah he's like yo there are some things you do not joke about that's <laughs> the five pillars of hip-hop dude that's the best part about it is like he's not he, he's not a stand-up like he was an actor who was in like a couple of mob movies and then yeah, he's now in pretends, fucking true romance yeah, yeah and now he like goes and like edits himself into episodes of tough crowd and then <laughs> just talks about 
how offensive it is that fucking somebody made a Columbine joke. Yeah. Yo, on that it. episode with me and Patrice, I, I fucking... Patrice O'Neill was a legend, dude. He was one of my closest friends. I try to emulate him in every way, including speech pattern. Yeah, and Patrice. diabetes. Patrice, Patrice O'Neill gave me cardboard from his house to spin my head <laughs> Yeah, Michael Rappaport, come, dude, pick up a mic, dude. Come fucking, come on the pod. We'll we'll mm-hmm. uh, we'll get you and Thomas. We'll squash it, you know. Yeah, we're uh, I had a, Thomas. I, I had a feud with Rappaport before anyone, by the way. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I I'm really, I'm really, get, I'm really getting into like, I'm really like one. I'm becoming one of those like old Hollywood guys. that's like, yeah. <laughs> or like more like Trump. I was actually the first to. <laughs> uh, he so. Everyone knows Eli Lake. Eli Lake was the guy everyone made fun of until... Yeah, the egg boy. He, yeah, he kind of looks like uh, Harold. Yeah. yeah. It was before Twitter added new NPCs that you could fight for, yeah. in, in, <laughs> in raids. And Eli Lake was just... He's like a shitty neocon who everyone hated. And for whatever like idiot reason, Michael Rappaport was like, Yo, this book comes with the knowledge! And like <laughs> really liked Eli Lake. So he went on Eli Lake's podcast, which I don't think runs anymore, and talked about how he was getting made fun of on Twitter a lot by me. And he said, "Well, one of the one of the trolls is actually very talented and does a piece of political satire. I think is very good, Carl Diggler." And then <laughs> Rappaport went, "Yo, fuck Carl Diggler, Duke." <laughs> that was Damn. the origin of the feud. Yeah, and then, yeah. Uh, but he's I don't know, he every week it seems like he there's a thing where like black people are like, Can you stop <laughs> yeah. doing everything yeah. you're doing? And yeah, he's meanwhile like, he's he's saying he's saying, I don't know what you're talking about as he's injecting himself with sickle cell. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this will do it. Yes. Yes. This will get me on their side. He's, well, he, like, yeah, he attacked, I think, a friend of the Pot About List universe today. Emily. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Emily and Thomas. Thomas. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, well. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas kind well, of pro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thomas DM me basically immediately, at, and he, he was like, this is this might be bad because Michael Rappaport has a picture of my penis now forever. <laughs> and I was like, it's it's going to be all right, man. You can, it you can spin this. Yeah. You can live with that. You can, you can say that Michael Rappaport hacked him. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, he got yeah. into my iCloud. He's in jail. I think Thomas is 14 anyway. Yeah, yeah. Thomas is a kid. Yeah, what's my reference we're 14, doing with that boy? Like that. Yeah. He's always a very high T child. Yeah. Yeah. I, he, I, I played Warzone with him last night, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. He told me that his mom did. Uh, like a 23 and me thing and found out that his family is in the 99th percentile for Neanderthal DNA presence. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. I <laughs> so you were say good, that. dude. Well, but Neanderthals, Neanderthal, like they were kind of like, it's kind of a good look. If you're like a human, I have like very low knee. I got 23 and me. Very low Neanderthal, and I wish I had more Neanderthal. Damn, you gave I up got, the DNA, bro. You I got gave a up the bit. genome. Yeah. Nah. Well, my my uh, someone, well, my friend got it for me, and it's like then you have to do it. Yeah, I, you gotta put your yeah. spit in, <laughs> I got in the a, mail. I got a lot of mileage out of it though, because it was like you are ninety nine percent Ashkenazi. And it was oh, like, oh, dude, cool. Well, it it ended. We had a, an Elizabeth Warren type family myth. Where, like, my mom thought that we were, like, half Spanish, like, the sexy kind, the Sephardic. Oh, uh, okay. And uh-huh. it's like, no. No, no we're, just... all, we're all the fucking beet farmer kind. <laughs> that rocks, dude. Yeah. I did that. I got a... I'm, like, 92% Irish. I think I... Yeah, I already posted about it, but I have, like, a 14th great-grandfather named Connor O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, didn't you... Uh, you texted us and said that... You're gr- you're like ninth grade. Oh grandfather. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he- Amaziah <laughs> Harding. <laughs> yeah, tell what did yeah. he do? My my ninth great grandfather in like the 1700s or something like that uh, killed his wife and tried to weekend at Bernie's her. <laughs> 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 and then uh, when the coroner came to like his fucking shack or whatever. Uh, they were they were like, now yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, oh no, he said that she died of natural causes, but like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so he, when you say he weakened at burnt, did he walk her around town <laughs> with like a hammer stuck in her head? I don't know. 
No, I was reading his will. <laughs> it sounded oh, like okay. it. Yeah. 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 It was it was easier to kill your wife back then. Oh, it was, it was like, way easier. Yeah. Dude. You knew. Oh uh, my god. Yeah, the staircase would have been the shortest documentary ever <laughs> in 1750. <laughs> Pat, you knew. Would have he... been like, yeah, he pushed her down the stairs. Of course. <laughs> You That's knew what he, you do when you're sick of your wife. You knew he oh, weekend yeah. at Bernie'd her, uh, her because his will said um, he was leaving his 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 uh, really complex marionette set to his son. <laughs> <laughs> his, uh, his robot exoskeleton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had a robot exoskeleton. Yeah. 1792. He had a piston set, a hydraulic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had a steampunk mech suit. <laughs> That's, well, that's how they created Gundams. Was, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> a, a guy, Every Gundam has a dead wife in the middle of it. <laughs> a, guy during, yeah, a guy during one of the Shogunates uh, yeah. killed his wife, and he was like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble for this. That's the actual Isn't plot that... of Evangelion. Yeah, the, it was just it is, robots <laughs> it Literally, uh, yeah. Yeah. Eva, Eva, yeah, like, uh, uh, fuck, what's his name again? Uh, Genki... Fuck the doctor, the dead wife guy. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, fucking uh, G- Gendo. Yeah, Gendo, Gendo Ikari. Like he's, it is cool that he just made a child wife. Yeah, he's like the one thing that what was wrong with my wife was that she wasn't fourteen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and also she couldn't pilot a giant robot that yeah. was linked to her mind. So. Those are the two <laughs> bad things about my perfect yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, so Felix, obviously you're uh, you're a gamer. You know, yes, I don't think yeah. I think that's no secret. Um, mm-hmm. You have a headset on as we speak. Um, I, I I feel like this was the, uh, the Halo is a big part of this show, uh, yes. just because um, you know I love Halo. I, although if, if I uh, fucking adore Halo, you gotta love Halo, baby. Uh, if the Secret Service is listening, I've never played a first person <laughs> shooter in my life. I just appreciate Halo from a very far distance. <laughs> He but, reads uh, the novels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did. On, <laughs> I swear to God, the first like real like book that I wrote that I read was uh, the Fall of Reach. I don't Halo think that's a real book. I don't think that counts as the first <laughs> think, real yeah, book. I a think real it was mom. whatever you yeah. read after it's that. A real book. No, it, that was your my mom. First your mom book. made that book for you so you would start. <laughs> yeah, it was a custom book. No, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, it was went just on, like, pictures. It sold so well. Your she mom went on like Vista Print and then made that. No, I got it at Walmart and it was seven dollars. Oh, okay, <laughs> come on, that dude. confirms it. But we did. We I picked out some um, some lists from uh, the top tens, which is a, a website we use a lot that are Halo themed vaguely. Um, they're be- they're about so the first three are these are all uh, uh, people arguing that other games are either better than Halo or Halo is better than other games. So this first one is top ten reasons Minecraft is better than Halo. Um, and it, I don't know how familiar you are, you are with this website, Felix, but basically the entire website is is children fighting about video games. Top ten. I, I think I've like I like li- like list websites like this because it's like it's the last thing you do. You just read those to have white noise in your head. That's the thing you do before you like try to kill yourself or call the suicide hotline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this like yeah. this like creates schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is the this is how it happens. And uh, this website does is it's different from like Ranker or other ones that have like a, like an editorial staff. This is just yeah. a a crowdsourced voting website. Yeah, it's their user 10. submissions, and yeah, they're all like mm-hmm. thirteen year olds who are just uh, who are struggling. Thirteen year olds on the us. internet. Yeah, and yeah. we're a year and a half into talking about it every yeah. day. <laughs> I think I think it would be awesome if like that was the only media job left was being the editor for top ten dot com. Like all these all these people who like wrote articles that are like well, Bernie didn't literally rape, but he is kind of like a rapist, doesn't everyone agree? Like they ha that's the only <laughs> This is their punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They become they become uh, journalistic serfs who have to work for the yeah. content. <laughs> they're just like they're just getting bullied by like the Glenn Greenwald of top ten, who's writing <laughs> the best yeah. top ten list. Just yeah, writing. they still this have top the, ten reasons. The same. Justin Bieber is gay and just yeah. getting flamed <laughs> up. <laughs> that's, his, that's his most like viewed article. That's like the Snowden article. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the thing. This place is the it is the final frontier of posting. Oh yeah, it's this got a, it's is, got it's got a ranking end. system. You level up on here. 
Yeah, you the can. Person, they finally put a lev, uh, put. They finally gamified posting. Yeah, the person who uh, wrote this article is uh, the vicar of Saint Looney up the cream bun and jam. That's a level four. Wow. That's the only next, level four. <laughs> level yeah, level five, five is, is <laughs> mayor of Michelle Delving. <laughs> what does this mean? Awesome, dude. <laughs> what? Who is Michelle Delving? Where do you I, think this website comes from? Like, what? What country did this? I'd say probably like one of the countries that like. Used to be in the USSR, but then when you read their <laughs> Wikipedia, it's like the age age expectancy or life expectancy after 1993 is 26 years old. Do uh, <laughs> chief exports or secondhand coffins? <laughs> yeah, it's whatever country uh, Tom Hanks was from in the movie Terminal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Just one of those exist. like landlocked piece of shit countries. Yeah, that all of your uh, uh, relatives are from. Yeah, well, mine, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> mine, yeah, definitely. Number one reason, according to uh, the top tens, why Minecraft is better than Halo, it doesn't have any inappropriate violence. That's um, true. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, it's there's only no, there's appropriate no blood violence. in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, very appropriate violence. Yeah. Uh, uh, slaughtering cows, animals, chickens, yeah. and goats. <laughs> Yeah, hitting an goes. animal, hitting a pig with a pickaxe or something. Or yeah. I would love yeah. Morrissey to come out against the animal. Yeah. <laughs> the creepers are subhuman. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you really think about it, <laughs> to look at a to look at an innocent person's house and to blow yourself up, it's Minecraft, absolutely abhorrent. Minecraft is responsible for a lot of heat, like. This is this is violence in the way that like people in academia say it, but um, you know who Tifu is? Yeah, uh, vaguely. Yeah, so he's like one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, and he's like mainly... he's the guy who said that Ninja sucks. Or yeah, something. he called Ninja yeah, a okay. pussy recently. That's what it is. Well, yeah. he was playing Minecraft with a 15 year old streamer and just said the N word like the soft <laughs> A. Damn, and it was like oh my god, it was cool. Like he like it was like everyone was cool with it. Like he didn't get in trouble, for, but it's like. How do you say that during Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what a, what what part of Minecraft will drive you to the end? He wasn't even mad, though. He was just, like, doing this weird He's yelling way. at the villagers. He was. He was. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. No, dude. That's the highest level is calling the villager the soft day at work <laughs> you stream Minecraft. Yeah, the term of endearment version. Yeah. <laughs> to, to the villager. Yeah, the yeah. Michael Rapp. A port version of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was trying to Michael say they Rapa were my Pat. friends. Just yeah. <laughs> I was I watched today just because yeah. Michael Rappaport was driving me insane. I watched a a like twenty minute interview that he did with Talib Kweli, and he keeps <laughs> he keeps <laughs> he keeps saying he's like he keeps calling him Qua. First of all, uh -huh. he's being like Qua. You know me, dog. You know me. <laughs> and apparently there was some controversy where he like made fun of a woman for having ashy ankles. <laughs> Oh my and, god! And, and Talib Kweli is like, "Why are you calling like black women's ankles ashy online?" And he's like, "Yo, I just call it like I sees it, bro." <laughs> I fucking love him, dude. My friend, my friend, uh, trolled Talib Kweli for about seven years. I would say he's one of the all-time. Just like he'll respond to anybody. I've been thinking. When I got my check, I thought it, I was like, he will definitely respond to me now. But it's like I couldn't think of anything. But it is that is a great like guy for Michael Rappaport to talk to? Oh, <laughs> like, absolutely, that is top dude. level. Yeah, he should wear the hat. Honestly, the like the the black thought like Talib yeah, Kweli yeah. most deaf hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would look good, man. That was uh, I. Do you remember the new danger? Yes, I got a like twenty dollar iTunes gift card in Christmas of 2004 and it was I had my first PC ever like Half-Life of 2 was out I was playing that and I was like oh what am I going to listen to while I play Half-Life oh I know I, most death because I like the song Mathematics and I bought the new Danger on iTunes and I was like this is dog shit. Oh, it sucks, <laughs> is, dude. That's, I think that's what got me back into pirating music. He says, like, I think I, like, felt bad about pirating. I was like, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to, like, get my parents sued. I, I'm going to stop doing it. I'm going to use iTunes. And then I bought the new Danger, and I was like, no, fuck this. 
Do you remember <laughs> the video? Do you remember the video of Most Def? Go, he goes through the tube feeding process that they did to the prisoners at Guantanamo Bay. Yes. What? Yes. Do you remember what? that fucking video? <laughs> yeah. It feels like a dream. Yes. There's a video that Most yeah, Def like did a, with a, like it's, he did, it's like. He did it with like like Vice or something, and it's him <laughs> in a white room in a in an orange jumpsuit, and they stick tubes in his nose, and he is hamming it up so hard. He's oh, like, no, yeah. no, no, <laughs> no, and and then like as soon as it's uh, in and then out, he's like. Yeah, so that's basically what they're doing to those guys in Guantanamo Bay right now. Thanks to God George damn. Bush. This was it was in like 2013. Yeah, this is a, this is from an alternate universe that only you and Felix know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in our world, this yeah. was the biggest video. Uh, yeah, it was, this was the first viral video in yeah. me and Caleb verse. It yeah. was it's awesome, you, dude. it's you, Felix, and Michael Rappaport, and you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I would it. love to live in the Michael Rappaport uh, alternative in his universe. Head. Yeah. I want to do. I want to do being Michael Rappaport <laughs> so badly, dude. <laughs> so fucking badly. It's just. It's just different rooms of him hanging out with a tribe called Quest. You go. Yeah. <laughs> you go through the little door, and then it's just like you have to like go to some bodega in Brooklyn yeah. and like <laughs> prove and every everybody in in every scenario calls him Black Michael Rappaport. <laughs> <laughs> That's his nickname. <laughs> Michael Rappaport, I was, I forget what I, where I was talking about this, but you know how like the my favorite like New York slang was when guys would call each other God because it was oh, like yeah. you know, like the the five uh, percent nation thing where every black man is a God, uh-huh. and I think Michael Rappaport's probably the only white guy who ever tried that. <laughs> oh, he he said God. He says he still uses B all the time. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. So he like in the so Taleb cool. Kweli interview, he's like he's like B. You gotta listen to me on this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling. I'm spitting facts right now. What was the interview like? Was that was the interview only about? So because I, saw, I remember I when he got canceled for that. I saw one section of it. Um, but it's uh, it, which was twenty minutes, but the full interview is like two hours, and I I will never <laughs> God never watch damn, two dude. hours of the <laughs> one Quelly. I might do that. Why was Go he interviewing? It. Him? It, ha- it has like thirty thousand views on YouTube, and it's Talib Kweli doing some doing like some podcast uh, that he did for like uh, six months. And he's oh, is that the Barstool one he got fired from? No, Michael. Ra- that's Michael Rappaport had a podcast oh, oh, that oh, he got right. he got fired from for uh, beating his wife or something. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. I think it. Was, I don't know. I, I maybe yeah. am making that up. I think no, no. I'm actually not. He beat the shit out of his wife. No, he absolutely <laughs> Wait, did. Wait, did he? Dude, he killed his wife. Dude. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I'm scared, wow. Dude. Dude, that's what I know. Um, yeah, that's what I know, dude. Yeah, dude. He killed his wife and he held the gun sideways and he shot her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That's crazy. I'm serious. And he was, he, yeah. He he said that was awesome. And then he mm. threw her uh, into the Hudson River. Yeah. And, then, like, it, and then they fired him from Barstool Sports <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah. yeah and and said, Portnoy Portnoy does not abide with killing your wife. He's right. an absolute man. Not. I, I respect Dave. He's mm. a he's a he's a real Boston Catholic. He doesn't yeah. abide. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody from Boston ever hit their wife. So. Yeah. No. Well, you no. Know. It just doesn't Despicable. happen. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. No. People in Boston, like, people have this, like, bullshit attitude about Boston because they themselves are too cowardly to drunk drive. And right. Boston, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Finally, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. yeah. I, yeah that's <laughs> fucking right. Well, uh-huh. I, if I was, so I've been fantasizing about the breakup of America, and obviously I would go back to the Midwest to try to become, uh-huh. like, you know, the Charlemagne of the Great Lakes, but... One of my first acts. Charlemagne be, the God. Charlemagne, yeah, yeah. I, I would like yeah, to be. You remember Charlemagne are. the God was on radio and was like, "Yeah, so I drugged and raped one." <laughs> Dude, he, it's crazy. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah he we're, talked about yeah, it a bunch. Yeah, and then like just nothing. Just no, nothing. nobody, nobody fucking, cared. Yeah, yeah, no one gave a shit. But, Michael uh, Rappaport thought it was awesome. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, fam, that's how we do it. <laughs> that's, that's how, how we, we do it in New York City, yeah, bro. Chop cool, cheese, yo. boy. Chop <laughs> cheese. <laughs> yo, that's Queen style. When you get your rock and all and your quarter water." <laughs> But uh, no, I, I more like the uh, French Charlemagne. Oh, but okay. One of my the first French acts. Charlemagne the God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's even yeah, he's even worse. Oh, yeah. he's, he's, he's a way he, bigger he, rapist. He, he, he does that all the time. Then, uh, 
I would I would like create a drunk driving license. Yeah, That's one of oh, the smart. We'll do. Yeah, an endorsement yeah. for your license. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you should. It's be like, able, yeah, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> you have it's a little, like it's a little at the beer bottom emoji. of the at the bottom of the license where it's got the heart for organ donor. It's just Nick <laughs> Nolte's mugshot. <laughs> I get. I've been trying to like pretend to be a drunk driving advocate on Twitter, and no one's yelled at me for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No one. Yeah, no one's taken the bait. It really. I, I know think, you're right. Well, yeah, I, I think, think people are going to defend it. What are you going to do? Yeah, I want yeah. Rappaport. I wanted Rappaport to like notice the emojis in my na- like the <laughs> clicking beers in the car. Oh, yeah, and be like, "You scumbag drunk yeah. driver! Yeah. <laughs> Yo, drug dr- drug driving killed some of the best hip hop artists of all time." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bushwick Bill, <laughs> 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 fucking Bushwick Bill, <laughs> fucking. I don't know who else. Yeah. <laughs> Bushwick Bill is like is in Michael Rappaport's brain. It's his mini me. Yeah. <laughs> he walks out of his Brooklyn apartment and it's Bushwick Bill. <laughs> um. All right. Back to this list. Yeah. Back to this. <laughs> Uh, number two, you get to be you get to be creative in Minecraft. I guess unlike Halo, you I get to be uh, creative in Halo. Yeah, yeah, Forge, Forge, baby. Forge. Yeah. It's like the whole oh, the top the... comment here, or yeah, what about Forge? Oh, Burn. What about mods, castles, pixel art, house statue, statues? Oh, Burn. And Dang, then right, these are and then... definitely seven year olds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the res- do burn. notice, baby. Fucking destroy. Well, the reply to that that comment doesn't realize that they're talking about Halo and thinks they're talking about Minecraft and says, "Do you realize that those can be built in Halo as well?" <laughs> Damn. Man, I love the no confusion. One, yeah, no yeah. one's getting like I don't know what. <laughs> you can build whatever you want. <laughs> also, you can like think about the greatest ha- comp player of all time. Like think about uh Walshi and like Best Man, even my own friend, girlfriend Haver. They're incredibly creative players. That's what that that's what makes competitive Halo awesome. And that's, that's why it was right. like one mm-hmm. of the first first esports in America. So mm-hmm. Take that, you fucking idiot seven-year-old fucking Yeah, you moron. fucking pussy. It is <laughs> funny that this, bitch. this whole show is, is yelling at children. That's what we, I mean. <laughs> but they're crazy. wrong. They're they fucking are, wrong well, that, all that, the That's time. what keeps us going is that they, we, we know that we are right and they're wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, number three, you can install mods. You can install mods on Halo, man. Trust you can me. Do the, I, you can do the Master Chief nude mod. Why don't, yeah, why I don't, know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why oh, trust this, me. <laughs> Why doesn't this fucking kid get a job, buy a PC, <laughs> right. it's only $3,500 for everything. Easy. Yeah, get an just RTX get card. Jo- yeah, just get all of it, get a, get a good motherboard, then you can play Halo on PC, and then you can mod it, instead of just playing on an Xbox like a fucking imbecile. You like, don't even, what you are. You don't even need to get all that shit, you can just download the Halo CE demo and download a Mario map into it. I've done it. <laughs> That's right. You can download the fucking Mushroom Kingdom into the demo of Halo CE. When how many yeah. how many Cortana nipple mods exist? Oh, a billion. Yeah, with all different lengths. Yeah. <laughs> I like, different. I, yeah, I like need... that in, in the later bad Halo games that they realize that every player's fantasy is to fuck Cortana. So like, yeah, she's like kind of a woman now. I don't know. Yeah, they yeah, also they, they make her butt crack longer and longer in every <laughs> single version of her. It's they made awesome. Her the, they made her the Siri for the, the yeah, Windows. Yeah, I, I like talk computers. to her on a daily basis. That shit basis. is so yeah. funny. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, too. dude. And guess what? Guess what the icon for Cortana is a hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you want to tell me you're not sexualizing her, Microsoft? Damn. No, there have probably been a lot of guys who like after a schizophrenic break, probably during quarantine, have killed themselves while operating Windows 10 because they think, like, Cortana's in love with them and they want to live <laughs> in their computer. Yes, dude, that's the that's the danger of the uh, the, the AI the AI version of, of Clippy or whatever is that yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it talks to you. Yeah. It's something... It's like every sci-fi movie has always had a, a, an evil robot with the exact voice that's on my computer right now. Well, Clippy, everyone knows Clippy was for a gay man. And those yeah, the first, those Clippy the, was fan service for gay men in Microsoft yeah, yeah, Windows. Yeah, so like once straight men started buying computers, they introduced Cortana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Straight men and buy women, uh, mm-hmm. so everyone has something, and that's like why I'm a Windows guy. 
because mm-hmm. they care. They like they they're they inclusive. accommodate people. Apple is just like Siri is just like a fucking sexless whatever. There's absolutely just nothing, no there's nothing, pussy on Siri. There's, there's yeah. no there's no Clippy. There's nothing for anyone. No. You can make you can make Siri Australian. I know that. Okay. All right. Well, that's, 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 less some, that's something. Yeah. I have an Australian male Siri. <laughs> yeah, you would, dude. Yeah, you would, dude. No, I do. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would be. You do because <laughs> yeah. you would. Yeah, you do. What? do. No, what? That doesn't even make sense. You gay bitch. Uh, <laughs> number four. Um, <laughs> number four. If you die, you can get your stuff back. <laughs> wow, that's. Well, fantastic. have you ever played respawn or yeah, campaign right. with checkpoints? You fucking moron. God, these. It's like these kids. I, I think they misunderstand Halo because they uh, are not old enough to buy it from GameStop without a parent's uh, ID. Facts. Yeah. You know. that downloaded uh, learn true. learn what steam is i they i remember i had steam um is. i had when i when i was growing up i i the, i got the modern warfare 2 at costco and uh i bought it with like my birthday money or whatever and we we my dad was with my dad because I didn't have a Costco membership. I was like fourteen. Did they have any like Costco exclusive items like they do at no, like, GameStop? No, no. But, but when I bought it, they were like the guy at the cashier like some said Kirkland to my dad, "Signature like." <laughs> <laughs> the guy <laughs> said, "The guy you said get a Kirkland dad, signature <laughs> item in game. <laughs> you get the Kirkland signature. Chicken. You get yeah. You get a chicken bake uh, icon in Modern Warfare Two. You can only I would get that. Love that." Dude, oh, yeah, that's uh, they did that with Skate Three and Miracle Whip. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> but the the cashier, he 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 looked at my dad. He was like holding the game, and he was like, "Sir, I'm legally obliged to tell you that this game has a mass shooting scene in it. Are you sure you want to purchase this for your son?" <laughs> he said that he was he was legally obliged. <laughs> like there was some fucking some law that. Uh, Kids couldn't play the most awesome part of the game. Sorry. <laughs> there, when I was like, uh, when I was like twelve, my dad, like, I, I guess he was like kind of interested in it, and I couldn't think of what mission to like make him play. Like, I didn't think like, oh, maybe do like the combat training mission. Oh, so no. I made my dad. <laughs> You made your dad play no I Russian. made my dad play no Russian, and he was oh like, my God, "Wait, I'm just dude. mowing people down. What the fuck is this?" Hey, this I is kind of fun, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, it would have been worse if you really liked yeah. it. He was hey. like, "How many more? How many more levels are there?" Yeah. That, would are they so, like this? that would be so fucked if you made your dad a mass shooter yeah. <laughs> with video games. Yeah, yeah. I, I show my dad no Russian. Then, like next week, he's got like Postal Two running on the computer. <laughs> What was that fucking game, Hatred? Yeah, yeah, I was just reading yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that, he becomes a hatred guy. Yeah. yeah, they're putting that game on Switch, which is so funny to me. What? That's hilarious. Yeah. That's... Uh, the only people I know with Switches are, like, women and, like, and my, like, my, like, young, very young cousins. I think... Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no there's no real games on the Switch except Zelda, and, and yeah, we all have Switch. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was I'm so sorry. fucked up, dude. Dude, I'm sorry. come on, guys. I'm, I'm starting sorry. a vote to you kick really Felix out of the call, dude. Yeah, I'm Jesus I'm Christ. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I use it. I use it for. Uh, I use it for Halo. They and got I, I throw yeah, it. They got my, on Switch. I threw it at my wife while I'm on Warzone and say like, play, play Gone Home or Here, something. Here you can play too. Here's your controller. Yeah. I, I You're keep, controlling I turn to other off. people. Yeah. yeah, I tape a screenshot of Lizzie McGuire to the front of it and just let her press all the buttons for a while. Number five, uh, it's controlled by keyboard and mouse. Again, it's these so, kids are so oblivious. I'm, I'm so getting so stupid. pissed off. Right I, I have Do to you take. Not- a, I, I'm fucking pissed off. I have to take a leak. You guys handle this one. I can't even fucking speak. These guys have never used, like, a Razor Death Adder Elite. To fl- <laughs> gotcha, yeah. So, okay, so let me get this straight. You ever heard of the Master Chief Collection? Yeah. Ever, ever heard, of, heard of that? Like I said earlier, the Halo CE demo. Yeah. Oh, Felix actually... He actually is. Oh, okay. He's we fake. can say whatever we want about him yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, he, uh, Felix... Uh, Fuck. He, uh, he, shit. Uh, his favorite he, he, candy is Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, <laughs> dude, wait, we have bitch. to edit that out. <laughs> okay. yeah, we, yeah. He's going to be so pissed. keep that He's in. He's going to be um, so pissed yeah. off, dude. Yeah, his favorite candies are Tootsie Rolls and, and, tooth, and toothpaste. His- <laughs> he, actually, he told us before we started this that he likes brushing yeah. his teeth. He eats uh-huh. floss. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking sicko. Yeah. Um, number six, there's no war going on. That's not true. Yeah, ever heard there of it? There is a war the, it going on in the Ender or whatever. There's a the war Ender between Dragon. there's a war between the creative geniuses and the griefers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? A never ending war. And there's, the griefers are winning. We need more creative we need more creatives in Minecraft. Right. Everybody you get on get on Minecraft. Had a creative Kill mode. your local griefer. <laughs> 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 Just DIY kids <laughs> walking around with that on a shirt. <laughs> it's got like a creeper. It's like yeah. one of those big like like back patches. <laughs> Add it to the Teespring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill that your local be, griefer. That is gonna be that's gonna be the second Minecraft themed shirt on our merch store. <laughs> There's yeah, we already we already have I, we already have a shirt that says I went to your mine and nobody knew you. <laughs> And now we're gonna have kill your local griefer. Yeah. yeah. How do you grief someone in Minecraft? I like literally never played. You Minecraft. just okay, okay, you so take down their a, house. There's a okay. there's a uh, there's a pot about list Minecraft server that somebody mm-hmm. started, and I spent like two days uh, at the beginning of like quarantine building a very cool modern house designed by an it Indian. It was not a modern on, house. On it was a, it was a sing, it was no, a it was, very t- cool. it was a tower um, of wooden blocks that had no it was not was a no windows, no doors. No, it was just the, a no, tower. No, at the top at the top I built the house. Maybe it was a it was a platform. It, was it wasn't a house. But I never uh, at in the middle of the night two griefers joined the server and burned down my house and it was like it was a heat in my body I've never felt. In that is, uh, my life, it, it hurts so bad. And I, I asked the guy who mods the server, I was like, "Is there any way you can fix this?" And he he went into the code and and reversed what they did. But for that, for those few moments where I saw my creation on fire, um, I wanted to kill myself. That's what John Wick felt. I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the exact same feeling. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. That that house was a gift from my dead wife. <laughs> Like, he met his, well, John John Wick had a yeah, John Wick had a fifteen year old like dyed hair Minecraft wife, and that's why he's like a morally complex character because you shouldn't do that as a forty five year old man. That's true, yeah. But also, like that was his Minecraft house, so it's like yeah. that's why I, I like that movie because there's like you don't really know who the bad guy is or who the good guy is, but you can appreciate how good John Wick is at action. Yeah, yeah. And how that's cool true. his one house one was true. before it. He did have a very cool house. Yeah. Yeah. I never he made. It. I, I've started that. What is he? What was his job? Why was he so rich? Why do you have such a cool house? He probably saved a lot of money from being an assassin. Oh, he probably true. Like, because he was retired, and it's like I presume well, I'm something of a financial expert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what John Wick? John Wick probably got paid like a million dollars per hit, and what he probably did was he bought these things called municipal bonds. And when you buy it, it's <laughs> those aren't corporate bonds. The interest on in corporate bonds is taxed at uh, the rate at which we tax capital gains, but the interest on uh, municipal bonds is not. So if John Wick bought you know let's say five million dollars worth of Huntsville, Alabama municipal bonds, paying out at three point five percent, that's like he made so much money none of it was taxed he yeah. got the original for five million back and, and he retired he was done and then he also had pirates coins in a briefcase <laughs> it's yeah, true. He, also it's true. A, he also found a pirates chest yeah, yeah which is a huge <laughs> part of that, yeah. yeah that was that was like a, that was like one of my fantasies as a kid was just f- finding ancient money dude pirate yeah. coins yeah. are yeah. so cool just old for some reason old money old gold feels like it should be worth more yeah that was my thinking. It's like, oh, yeah. if you find like the equivalent of a million dollars from ten thousand years ago, it's like a billion dollars now. They'll just exactly. give it to me. They'll give it to me, a child. Yeah, you go to the, <laughs> you go to the exchange, uh, the money exchange in the airport, and get go give them your doubloons, <laughs> and you get. <laughs> there's a great exchange rate on doubloons. They have, they have a one million dollars in a briefcase just in case yeah. that just in case a pirate shows up. Yeah. Patrick yeah. said earlier before we started recording that. Uh, oh yeah, has, I did ancestry. Has, yeah. He, his ancestry told him he has pirate blood, <laughs> and I would like you to explain what that means. Um, I am related to someone who has captain in their name, according to ancestry dot com. That's and you just all. assume, you just <laughs> assume <laughs> that's, pirate. That's blood. all I needed to know. That's all well, I needed to hear. Where else would he be? The Irish Navy? Like I don't think so. It, I, yeah, exactly. Seventy percent from Ireland, thirty percent from the sea. Ninety nine percent bitch. <laughs> you could just be named captain. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
I have mafia uh, blood. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. My 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 like a uh, Jewish mafia. No, no. He worked for Capone. No, three six mafia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and Rappaport, baby. Yo, this goes back centuries. Blood. <laughs> um, no, uh, it was uh, he worked for Al Capone and stole money from him, and then got nervous and killed himself. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so yes, Jewish he mafia. Fu- he fucked up. Oh my god! That is the Jewish mafia. Yeah. Oh god, they're gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> he killed himself instantly. <laughs> oh god, I should just die. <laughs> <laughs> the, I have, uh, and then like another ancestor, like the biggest thing they achieved was he was a piano player in the Russian Imperial Army. Oh, nice! Damn, yeah. Oh, so, well, he played the Halo theme, like so that was yeah. <laughs> he played it on cellos, like Yo Yo Ma, but yeah, Jewish. No, I'm just imagining a version of Casino where every character is Robert De Niro in that movie. <laughs> 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 That's like your whole family. Yeah, no, it, it's they were not an accomplished gang. They didn't. They didn't get a whole lot done before like the 1900s. They were. They just lived in like you know the worst part of the Russian Empire and like. Oh. My dad's side uh, pretended to be German, which is a very ignominious fate. That is cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, they pretended to be German Jews. They were like, we're still Jewish, but we're like the the fancy kind. And, you, and, did and did and that even get like, you? Did that get you points back then? It did. Well, it should have because like. Do you know who invented the word kike? It was German Jews describing Russian Jews, but they were probably Ru- because they like they swear they could speak German and they like can't. <laughs> like, uh. I think they're just li- they're just fucking lying. That's kind of like that's kind of like me. I took two years of remedial <laughs> yeah, that's German. That's like you, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's you just exactly like me. Like that? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I yeah. I feel like your goal in life should be, you know, when you're 300 years in the future, when your ancestor or descendants do 23 and Me, they'll be like, oh, uh, he had a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah they'll be <laughs> able to tell. Podcast it's just like it's just like the pirate thing. It's just like yeah. the pirate thing for me. It's just uh, yeah. I talked about. I made fun of little kids. <laughs> yeah. On the, on the <laughs> yeah, he made yeah. fun of little kids online all the time, mm-hmm. and he loved eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> It says right here. Yeah, it says it's right, right here, here that your grandfather was addicted to cheeseburgers. Yeah. It says right here he tried to put a bunch of chips in a Seven Eleven hot dog and choked at twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's like your that's like uh, your version of Final Destination is you yeah. see that vision <laughs> as you're sprinkling the chips on the hot dog. <laughs> Yeah. And you can't help yourself. You just go, oh, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's I'm dead. I got to do it. Uh, yeah. There's no choice. You know? It's lunchtime. I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What else is good on this list? Uh, you a little own here. You can play uh, with six or more players and then two comments back to back that says you can play with 64 on Halo. I don't think I ever did a 64-person Halo match. You could, you could, you absolutely I could. Guess. I don't know. I I I played Halo. Uh, I played Halo Reach for a while, but then I I went to Battlefield. Uh, oh, I missed <laughs> Battlefield. Bad Company Two is so good. Best oh, FPS you... of all time. Yeah, we t- we talked about this. It's like yeah. um, the the. I mean, it was it was cool to blow up a building. Oh, it didn't was, you? Yeah. Caleb, weren't you like ranked or something? Oh or? yeah, it's, yeah. So like at the beginning, when when, when uh, Bad Company Two first started being like a competitive like like MLG game, um, me and a friend started like a clan uh, that n- there was nobody in it except us. You're supposed to have like eight people at minimum, and we registered on like the MLG website. And then we our first week we got paired with Phase. Uh, and we started the match, and there was only two of us, so we had to forfeit. But they reported that it was a forfeit, and we reported that it was a win. And for some reason, the MLG <laughs> system, it, it got uh, – they just believed us. And so for like two weeks, we were the number one bad company clan in the world, and we never played a game. <laughs> that is no. That's well. That's going to be on the twenty three and me. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> that's that's business like when they got when they got the stories on the side of ancestry, and it's like, yeah. oh my yeah. uncle fell down a fucking elevator shaft or whatever. <laughs> it's just Caleb yeah, your uncle about when he gaming. Was, when he was fifteen. <laughs> he was uh, he was ranked number one for two weeks. It's not like <laughs> <a huge deal. laughs> 
but your uncle rocked. Those were Battlefield. Those are the best games because they were like openly ridiculous. But then when bat- Battlefield One happened, because like enough people at Dice were like, "War is serious." Yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, this, we need to yeah. do the least fun war. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also oh, think God. I think Battlefield is the ultimate like uh, pipeline to the actual military for kids. Mm-hmm. Because as far as games well, go, because people because you the thing is with the because the, the the bullet drop with the snipers, a kid gets good at that, and then they're like, I could do that in real life. <laughs> Yeah. It did almost happen to me. Yeah, I, would I, play, I, I would play Battlefield. <laughs> yeah. I would play Bad Company and be like, I would, you know, like arc a shot and be like, I could definitely do this. Yeah, it'd be, no it'd be easy. Yeah. This is so accurate. Yeah. Um, I did. I probably have talked about this on the show before, but did you ever play America's Army? No. America's Army. It was just Operation Flashpoint, but reskinned by the army oh, and with better graphics. Okay. And me and my friends. I I was because I'd, I'd given up the idea of getting pussy in high school. I played Operation Flashpoint all the time, nice. and me and my friends were amazing at it. So we like America's Army was a recruiting tool, but we would absolutely like wash just like dumb people from Mississippi who were like I'm. They thought it was going to be like COD or something. Uh-huh. We just fucking <clears throat> decimate them because we were fucking nerds. And I think we probably kept a lot of people out of the military. <laughs> nice. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's that, Praxis. That was the start of my, my journey as anti-imperialist. Yeah, yeah. it was <laughs> fucking owning my cousins on America's yeah, Army. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That rocks, dude. Thank you for that. No, you're Thank welcome. You for I, your kept service. Them, I kept them out of Iraq. You did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You know, all my cousins who joined the military just like went to San Diego and then convinced themselves that they were heroes and then came back with the worst tattoos that anybody's ever had yeah, and they now ate, they now they work as electricians they ate and, a bunch of california burritos with the french fries in them and they're like yeah that's the same as doming some little kid i don't care what you <laughs> say exactly the, the coolest thing that i ever heard a veteran say was when i like bounced at a bar when i was in school in minnesota there was a guy who was in the air force reserves who we were throwing out and one of the bouncers he was he was like he was like nineteen twenty. He's just like I don't know why they made him a bouncer. Honestly, he was like very diminutive, but he had a camo like flat brim on, like a camo Fuck twins yes. hat flat brim. And Hell the yeah. Air Force guy was like, I, "I'm a veteran. I fought for your right to wear that hat. <laughs> <laughs> I fought for your right to wear a fifty nine fifty. That was so. I didn't want to throw him out. It was like, dude, this yeah, guy just fucking owns. keep him in. Yeah, yeah. just let him he drink means whatever. It, he means that he killed Rob Deerdick and stole his hat from <laughs> yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That rocks, dude. Veterans are all veterans are smart and should be respected. Yeah, mm-hmm. veterans um, rock. That's what we say. <laughs> that's what we say at the beginning of the episode every week before we. Yeah, do yeah. We have months. a we have a clip like like Mark Maron's "Lock the Gates," but it's us saying <laughs> respect, respect the to vets. veterans. <laughs> <laughs> that that the, there was I worked at a, a, I there was this gym in Brooklyn that I left because of a veteran. It Whoa. was like oh my god, dude. This guy, he was like I don't know if he was an actual operator or just pretended to be a veteran, but he's like one of those vets who like. Has a dog because the war scared him. Oh it's yeah, like, it's like, like I was oh, in college. Yeah. Oh, I need a, I need this dog, or else I'm going to scare my wife. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, but he would like bring the dog to the first floor where all the Olympic shit was, and would throw the tennis ball everywhere for his fucking <laughs> shithead dog. And Damn. the dog would nearly get killed by weights every day. <laughs> Jesus. And I, and I was like. I don't want to deal with it. Like I'm done. I'm that's I yeah. That's the last time you shit. go to Chris Dorner's pump house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, because it was just like I like I, I like catastrophize sometimes, but it was like, what if I got into an argument with this guy and it became this whole thing, and it would be like socialist podcaster yells at veteran yeah. for having dogs. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be such a good yeah. Joey Salads video. I would, yeah. it would ruin my life. It would ruin my life. Like, I, because I, I, like, would be on video, like, why? Well, I didn't even, you didn't even have to go to the fucking war. You don't even need that fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, You're still lifting as you yeah, yell at him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> squatting. They yeah. just sent me down a really dark path. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't engage. 
Yeah, I used to work at a gym, and uh, people would bring dogs in all the time, and they would ask if I could, like, keep them behind the desk. Um, which is <laughs> just a psycho Watch my fucking dog. Yeah. <laughs> It was completely crazy. It was like always, it, I worked at like a very high end gym too, and I was making like minimum wage, and it just felt yeah. so goofy to be like also somebody's dog sitter for 12 bucks an hour. That's the job they didn't hire me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Patrick applied at that job, and I, something yeah. about him threw them off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. At a gym. Yeah. <laughs> maybe my, was, I don't maybe know. you were eating a burrito in the interview. I did, um,. I did get a seven. I did get go to Seven Eleven. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you got one of the chimichangas in the bag. No, that you I got. Up I got the hot dog. Microwave. I got a hot dog. I, I, I I'm stand by. I my want head. a Seven Eleven microwave with the numbers on it. It's yeah, so that would be easy. Sick. So, so much better. I never have to look at the wattage. I just know that this is a four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I'm looking up right now if you could buy a Seven Eleven. Uh, microwave on eBay. Probably $10,000. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Seven, seven Eleven microwave. They have to have it. You have to be able to buy it. Oh, no. You can get pre-owned microwave filters. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is... What is happening if you're buying that? What is happening if you're selling them because they're $3? Like, how bad do you need $3? Yeah, yeah, and also... I mean, a microwave... Microwaves are free. They're like couches and, and uh, white fridges. You just get yeah. them on Craigslist on the side of the road. Yeah. The, fucking, the microwave I got came with the apartment. Have you oh, seen yeah. that? Same, same with come me. up, bro. Same yeah. with no, me, the dude. one that looks Damn. like a, a, that looks like the TV from fucking yeah, Charlie yeah, you, and the you, Chocolate you Factory. Like a, you have like you have like a microwave that looks like what like Walt Disney thought a microwave was going to yeah. look like in fifty <laughs> dude, years. Dude, it's like it's fucking huge, and then like you open the door, and then the the opening is like the size of like a box. It's Patrick's not even microwave a box. looks like you looks like you put I a cube know, in it. <laughs> it looks like you put a cube in it, and a steak dinner on a plate comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, I got the yeah. Spy Kids microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I um no, I I don't know how my mom always had. It's like one of those things where like, yeah, your mom has the best version of it. You don't even know where she found it. My mom has some like fucking Chrome bullshit microwave that's really good. Damn, and I'm like, Chrome. Yeah, Michael Rappaport would love yeah. that microwave. <laughs> no, man, man, I'm running spinners on my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you got a chromed out microwave. Boy. Felix's mom. Felix's mom. Pip his hell for that one, bro. It's got hydraulics on the microwave. <laughs> That's how it pops the popcorn. It just, <laughs> it's just got a hot pocket bouncing in there. <laughs> God damn, Man. dude. He's just got the Saints Road 2 microwave. It's got like the. <laughs> the Saints floor on it and shit. Oh my god! It's chrome and purple. All the buttons are purple. Dude, you know what I saw the other day? I saw the the Call of Duty Black Ops Two F one fifty. Whoa! Yeah. On the street, dude. Wow! You got a Just, pick? Oh my! No, no. They, it drove by. It was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was going. It was going so fast. But dude, I just I I forgot about those. Those that's that is the ultimate fucking boss car, dude. So that, cool. Oh, oh man, imagine. People, I, I imagine mean, that's what you, I would do if I had money. I like if if it didn't cost like five hundred thousand dollars a year to have a car in New York, I would buy that. Yeah. I would I would like start going to media parties again and just pull up in that <laughs> in a fucking what? sweepstakes car. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's so sick. It's the a, Halo imagine, two Hummer two. <laughs> imagine your dad picking you up from school on a Call of Duty truck. Ooh. Oh my god, dude! You in would a, get so in a much Baja pussy. Blast <laughs> yeah, <North Fiesta>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, yeah. There's a there's a there's a there's a Baja blast in the cup holder. Yeah, <laughs> it's got cold, a and that's right. No to... ice because ice is a waste of soda room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it comes out cold. It uses the AC. That's fucking right. <laughs> that's correct. Yeah. Dude, I, I would go. I would just do the pimp my ride. I would just put a PS2 in that thing. Yeah. And fucking. Oh, I would never leave. I thought that was the coolest. That if you had a PS2 in your car when I was a kid, the like most impractical them. thing. You, yeah. First off, you have to have at least. You have to have somebody driving. For yeah. You to make any get sense. a chauffeur. Chauffeur. You have to have a chauffeur or a parent. 
And parents are very adverse to putting PlayStation 2s in their cars for whatever reason. Yeah, parents would put a homework machine in the <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. Parents would put dishes in the yeah, car. Yeah, they're going to put freaking clean. broccoli in there, dude. You're going to have to <laughs> eat broccoli. <laughs> yeah, Felix, we should have told you we're very anti-parent, pro yeah, yeah. anti parent pro anti anti-grounding. I'm really not trying to get in trouble here. I With mean, like, parents. I understand I understand that vulnerable communities have attitudes towards homework and dishes. <laughs> Uh -huh. that um, they, they think that they cause harm and in the liminal spaces of homework. Uh, you're almost sounding. I, I'm gonna. I, you're almost sounding pro chores right now, Felix. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very sensitive to the issues of the child community, but also many of my listeners do assign homework and do assign dishes <laughs> uh, in those liminal spaces. Of you know, maybe chores. maybe that lady was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to yeah. say. Yeah, name three toys, Felix. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I shouldn't even... I, shouldn't I even, fucking dare I, you. I shouldn't even dignify this. I shouldn't even dignify this. But if you really, if you really want to call my activist credentials yeah. in question, uh, the Tonka truck is a classic one. W the Tonka truck? <laughs> okay, someone's out of touch. Yeah, somebody just Googled toy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You Google toys, you click the first three answers. Yeah, it's uh, like that info box popped up and said, the Tonka truck. Yeah, the Tonka truck, the Hess truck. And the jump rope. Uh, I was, I was going to say Jenga next. Jenga's a game, yeah, it's a you, game. you absolute lepton. Toy. Jenga is a game. What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> All right, I guess I shouldn't give my third. Well, it's um, I was gonna say a Playmobil set. Playmobil okay. is a tool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a material. Yeah, that's a, that's actually an imagination aid. Completely different. Yeah. <laughs> Completely different category. <laughs> I just like people. The only thing we could do to unsubscribe would be to come out against uh, homework and chores. Yeah, you guys, you it. guys would lose a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you guys <laughs> would probably go go below us. Today we had somebody on our on our Patreon edit their forty dollar pledge to five dollars, and it just it was it was just a shot to the heart. Why was it okay? Was he forty dollars because he was like, I really believe in the mission, and then like they, five dollars because he's like, I still like this show, but it's like it had to I have been an accident. Yeah, <laughs> okay, because uh, they. I like they, to think it wasn't because it's like he was just like. Um, I support the mission, but you're not making any progress against these seven year olds who are still making these posts. You're not putting in danger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not making any of them log off. The yeah, thing is yeah. we, oh oh speaking of this this list has a uh the, the the reasons Halo Three is better than Fortnite. The second list has Trigger Trash Kid on it. Whoa! Oh. It sort of a, one of our. There's a rotating cast of, of characters and ne'er do wells from the top tens <laughs> that we interact with or don't interact with that we view yeah. on a, a pretty <laughs> Absolutely regular basis. Absolutely do not interact. We with. do not interact. <laughs> yeah. And Caleb, Trigger Trash Caleb Kid. Caleb interacts, but no, I don't. Yeah, no, Caleb Patrick interacts. interacts. Patrick and no. Cameron interact. No, Caleb. Interacts. We interact no, with do. each other. Pat Caleb interacts with the Trigger Trash Kid is one of the all timers though. He he says uh Was he li life is a meme, sarcasm is an art. Cows go quack. Was okay. Trigger was Trigger Trash Kid the one um was he the uh, dangerous ISIS weapons? I think so, yeah. Oh, so uh, he's like he's kind of like a more worldly worldly yeah. seven year old. He's like Yeah, he he was the one who said that um, if ISIS ever got uh, a hold of the dubstep gun. <laughs> I think about that all the time. Yeah. yeah. ISIS is constructing the dubstep gun. What is the dubstep gun? I think it's, it's from Saints Row 3. It's, it's from something worms? he made up. No, no, it's in Saints Row 3. It's, uh, it, isn't it? It's also in, it must be in Worms from Saints Row then. Yeah, or oh, the other way right. around. It is in wor it's in Worms. Uh, worms, the one that whichever play. one that is. Yeah, Worms Reloaded or, or Worms Unloaded or Worms, worms Gun in the dirt. Loaded. Worms Dirt Loaded. Yeah. They're trying to do a pun <laughs> and they fucked up. <laughs> yeah, if ISIS got the dubstep gun, that would be truly catastrophic. So I was not a Saints Row player. I played Saints Row in just when I was waiting, I think, in between GTA San Andreas and GTA 4, because I was like, all right, we need Which Saints up. Row? The, I think the two. First one? And it two. literally oh, yeah. depressed me too much. Like, it I, like, that was made my me one. depressed. Uh, it was the only one I ever played, because it was just like... I got this feeling where it was like, this just isn't... Oh, shit, hold up. It isn't GTA. <laughs> this is just, this is, isn't we've come legal, full it's circle. too crazy. <clears throat> yeah. 
Michael Rappaport was the voice no. of the one white guy in Saints Row 1, the one white guy in the game. You know he was pissed when he started it up and he was white in the game, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. He, he was he, like, what the fuck? He's the, the informant. He's the fucking, he's the, the undercover. And they made me a fed. Shit. <laughs> he was so mad. He's like, he's a, he plays like a fat Italian guy with a middle part. I gotta find a picture of this. Michael Rappaport. Saints yeah, Row 2? I'm, I'm looking this Saints up. Saints Row 1. His, uh, it's like Troy, I think. Oh, damn, dude. Troy. Yeah. <laughs> He's the chief of police in Saints Row 2. Damn, oh, my was, God. Well, Michael like Rappaport probably, like, wishes he looked like... Like, he obviously <laughs> primarily wishes he was white. But like, well, yeah, because this guy has this character has like a pencil thin mustache that he maybe could play off for Puerto Rican. But <laughs> yeah, Z, I mean, Michael Rappaport cannot grow facial hair. No, he can't. He has a smooth but bumpy face. Yeah. He's a smooth but mold face. Yeah, no, he is. He's half mold. He's half fungal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you did man. you guys you guys remember when he got in some fight with Dan Lebetard? And Levitard kept posting Who? that. <laughs> Dan Levitard from ESPN. Uh, from, that's uh, his name? Yeah. Hey, Levitard. That's right. Um, he he kept posting that picture of, of uh, Michael Rappaport with that, that fucked up red spot on his chin. Oh, yeah, the and hurt. Like, <laughs> and, the, yeah, and then Michael Rappaport was like, he went on his on his like uh, radio show at the time that has like, he had like a hype man. <laughs> and I just remember listening to it because I, I kept up with the beef. And Michael Rappaport was like, and you had the nerve to bring up that photo of me with a lesion on my face. It's not herpes. It's a lesion. <laughs> and then his hype man was like, yeah, that's right. It's a lesion. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fucking rock, dude. Yeah, he had, he had a weird like pro wrestling as bit on his show that his son, he had a young assistant who was rebelling against him. But I think it was just him. It was... Very strange. It was a very strange act of theater. Theater of the mind. <laughs> Dude, he's a comedian, capital C. He can't stop. Mm-hmm. You know no, I mean? yeah, he's correct. an entertainer. Dude, he's, he's like he's like Kaufman reborn. That's right. <laughs> I That's do you right. think he, he wanted to call himself Michael the Entertainer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, he wanted to go with like a he wanted to do like a hamburger esque like food name, yeah. but like soup or something. <laughs> soup. Yeah, soup yeah. bread. <laughs> That's how he ends all his jokes. Yeah. Soup. <laughs> he fucking rocks. All right, we're uh, we we, yeah, we're we're at an we hour. You, you did your time, Felix. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we can we can let you go. I'm you talked about you talked about toys and Michael Rappaport. Probably well, I embarrassed much as myself talking to. about toys. You I did, lost yeah. a lot of activist cred. You're always welcome to come back on and correct the record, but I would uh, love to. I would but, love to. But for now, you are known as sort of a sort of you know a, a crypto pariah. parent mm-hmm. uh, yeah. crypto, in a way. Crypto principal. Yeah. Crypto <laughs> well, I am I am teacher adjacent, unfortunately. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you yeah. you you engage in teacher yeah. spaces a lot, <laughs> yeah. which is kind of yeah. it's kind of sus. Yeah. But thanks, man. Um, yeah, thanks. I'm not going to ask if you have anything to plug because you know. Um, this is sus episode four with Will Maneker. I just posted. That's, okay. That's all right. It. All right. Go for it. Uh, go listen to that. Thanks, Felix. Mm. Thanks. Thank man. you. Thank you. Hey, what's up? We forgot to do the uh, Patreon subscribers, so I'm going to thank all you guys real quick. Thank you, Trip Liquid. That's a sick fucking name. I hope that's your real name. Um, I, I, I do. Uh, thank you, Marcin or Markin. Thank you very much. Um, Tucker uh, upgraded the pledge to $10. Thank you, Tucker Menzies. Um, that's a Master Chief subscription right there, so thank you very much. Lello, thank you. Sam McGorin. Uh, or McGowan, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Nate, thank you to Nate. Uh, Court Hansen, um, thank you. Spencer Greenfield, thank you. Uh, Stephen Diaz, ten dollars. Master Chief, they should call you Spartan One One Seven. Stephen Diaz, if you ask me. Uh, Anthony Alves, thank you. Uh, Griffin McGee, thank you. Uh, Matthew Majorosi, thank you very much. Um, Vince. I assume that's Vince McMahon, so thank you uh, a lot. Um, let's see. Brock Billings, thank you so much. Um, uh, Mr. Business, back again. Double dipping, thank you. Mr. Business, we love you. Uh, George Kenny, 
thank you, AFG, $10 patron. That's the Master Chief. So thank you so much. Yes. Thank you to Yes. Um, David Kordalewski, thank you for uh, subscribing. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Uh, check out my, my, uh, my SoundCloud.